so today we're going to talk about a little action camera called the CGX2. It is brought to you by Cyclops Gear. This is a nice little alternative action camera to a GoPro or something like that. Um, at the time when I bought this, I was looking for something affordable and I was able to pick it up for under 200 bucks. Right in the box, they give you every mount that you could possibly need. So you can take this thing right out of the package and go start recording. The camera body is really nice too. It feels really durable. It's got like a rubber silicone material around it. And then of course you also get the waterproof housing that is really nice and tight. The latch system on it is very good, also similar to the GoPro. If I had to compare it to anything, I would say its features are very similar to a Hero 4 Silver. It does have an LCD screen, which is not a touch screen, but it's very easy to access the menu and you can scroll through all the features and navigate through it very easily. So I'll get into all the features it has and the resolutions and everything, but right off the bat, what I want to talk about are the things that I don't like, so I can just get that out of the way. Uh, my biggest thing with this camera, number one top of the list, there's no external audio jack. So you cannot plug a microphone into this camera. Um, I tried mini USB to 3.5 adapters that work on my GoPros just to see if it would pick up on it. Um, assuming they just don't have the software in it because I couldn't get any of them to work. So if you're a moto vlogger or looking to pick up any better audio quality with like an external mic you're not going to be able to do that with this the next thing that's a big deal to me is 4k resolution only records at 25 frames per second so if you want to do any slow motion stuff you have to go all the way down to 720p before you can get to 120 frames per second for some people that's probably not even going to matter at all but I know I like to record at a higher frame rate so that I can slow the video down for certain sequences other than those two things everything else about the camera is pretty nice um, there's not a lot of frills with it. The recording that you can get from it is 4K at 25 frames per second, like I said. Uh, it does 2.7K at 30 frames per second, 1440 at 30, and then 1080p, you do have 60 frame per second option, as well as the 30 frame per second option. It takes pictures at 12 megapixels. You do get to adjust a couple things like white balance and exposure, but other than that, there won't be a whole lot of settings to mess with. Now another good thing is the camera does have Wi-Fi. Uh, they have their own app that you can get on Android or in Apple. It's the CGX2 app, so you can control the camera with your phone just like a GoPro. So overall, for the price range, it's not a bad camera. But if you want to get something brand new in the box that's ready to go and you can find the camera for, you know, under the $200 mark, I think it's definitely worth it. Especially if you're just starting out, it'll definitely get you into it, it'll get you going, and you can just buy the camera with everything that it comes with and be ready to go. So I really do like that about it. Retail in the stores on them are about $299. If you're going to spend that kind of money, then I would definitely recommend going and looking at like a GoPro Hero Session or something along those lines. But otherwise, overall, it is a good camera. It records good quality video, which I am going to put up a couple videos to show it. Um, so, you know, definitely overall, I like the camera. So to wrap it up, my cons list, no external audio jack. 4K only records at 25 frames per second. On the plus side, if you get one of these as a gift, or I know they were doing like a promotion where if you bought a Can-Am product, they would give you one at the dealership, or check on eBay, see if you can find one on there. I, like I said, I think they're right around 145 bucks even right now. If you can find one for that, uh, I would definitely recommend grabbing the camera. You will be able to capture very good video with it, and it will get you by until you advance, and then you want to start messing around with you know, a little bit more powerful camera, at which time then obviously there's several other options out there now as well. So, yeah, all in all, it's a good camera. Um, I wouldn't shy you away from it. You know, Take a good look at it, read the specs, and see if it'll work for you.